Good morning, everyone. This is Deb. I'm here with a um, for the love of vintage slash shabby chic um, collaboration. It's hosted by Sam, who is the Scottish crafter here on YouTube, and there are about 28 or so of us. And I will have the links all down below, so please do hop over and check everyone else out. Uh, we all are supposed to air at the same time, which is 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 3 p.m. G uh, GMT, I believe is the right way to say that. So, um, I this time I tried to go vintage, and I made a card. I'll put it this way so you can see it. Um, I am using Stampin' Up! products for this and because the new catalog is coming out soon and I have a ton of products from the current catalog that I need to use and I'll never get through them all. So, I'm also thinking I will offer a kit. It will not have the stamped images and you'll have to stamp your own background, but the cardstock, the cutouts, and there's a cutout on the inside. Um, and the embellishments and lace would be in the kit um, and I'll have the information for that um, below the video and also I'm going to put this up on my blog so um, hopefully by the end of today which is Sunday the 14th of April 2019 um, the instructions will be on there and how much it would be so if you're interested please email me and let me know at DahliaDesigns57 at gmail.com and that will be below the video as well. Anyway, very simple card to make, really. And we're going to do it together. So I'm going to want to put this somewhere where you can still see it. There, maybe there. <laughs> okay, so I've cut a piece of Whisper, I'm sorry, very vanilla cardstock, thick cardstock, not the regular. And I've cut an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet in half so that we have um, eight and a half this way by um, five and a half this way and then scored at four and a quarter. I think that's right. Hang on. Never doubt yourself when you do, and I do this so often, I just forget sometimes. So yeah, four and a quarter. Um, and five and a half lengthwise so it's a, what they call an a2 size card which i honestly i never knew that was a standard card size in the united states till i started with stamping up because the cards you buy in the store aren't all this size so anyway yeah i never knew that so anyway the first thing i did is i pulled out my crumb cake um probably my favorite one of my favorite neutrals in the Stampin' Up! family it's sort of a craft color and it makes this look very vintage so um, I really like it and I had this sponge I had used for something else and I found a clean side and I'm just reusing that because the other sides are dry and all I'm gonna do is is like you do with any other distressing is go around the edges um, like this I hope you're having a great weekend and hope your week ahead goes well. I know there are some things that people have going on in their lives that aren't so pleasant this week, so I'll have them in my thoughts and prayers and you know who you are if you're watching. And I have the unfortunate task this week of meeting with uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Um, anyway, I have some things going on too. Just things I have to take care of, of course, for my mother. You know. Um, it's not doing so well. I'm going to actually do the inside too. I didn't do that the first time. And I ended up having to go back a little bit. I won't do it quite so much. But a little bit. I want the, in, the whole paper has to look aged, right? And then just brush along the edge a little more. Friday was um, supposed to rain, but not till the late afternoon, evening. So 
we, uh, my friend Charlie came over and we did quite a bit of yard work. He laid down some, um, like patio blocks I had, but I just had them laying over grass and the grass was of course coming through and I don't like the edge. And so he laid some stone down and I mowed the lawn and pulled a few weeds and hooked up my rain barrel for watering plants and stuff later. But I'm not really going to have too many plants this year because I'm going to do up here too. Um, because I don't think I'm going to have time to maintain them this year um, with everything that's going on. Okay, so that's the first thing I did. And then I'm using this very vintage stamp set, which is currently available only if you host a party and you would have to have a party of 150 or more or if you place an order for 150 or more this is available but my guess is it's gone by the time um, the new catalog comes out i don't have the retiring list yet but i've seen sneak peeks of the catalog and heard rumors that they're only carrying over things that were very 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 popular seller so we'll have to wait and see monday the 15th i will go over with you when i get it the retiring list what's what's staying what's going um and i won't have my catalog till um well i'll be able to get a pdf of it um probably sometime this week i'm not sure exactly when i can't show you the whole catalog i can only show you the cover and then I won't be able to show you the items because I won't have them until probably mid-May. I'll place my order May 2nd. And that will only be some of them because I can't afford them all, obviously. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we did, sorry. So this stamp, is this is what I'm using. And I'm going to make a background with it. It's like an old doily that's sort of torn or faded on one side. Um, and I'm going to stick with crumb cake. So we're just going to take it and that's why I have this scrap here. I'm going to actually stamp off and stamp onto the card and go all around the edges first um, because we're going to cover up some of the middle, but uh, we are going to go into the middle too. I'm going to try and get this so that it comes in a little bit. We stamp off to make it just a little lighter so that it looks more vintage, you know. And that one was a little bit dark. Okay, we're going to come in a little more on that one. And that one. And now I am going to go in and do the inside too because we don't cover up that much of it. So it's going to look layered and it's okay. I'm going to turn this a little bit, trying to make sure you can see, and I'm trying to get like the little knobby parts down in there, <laughs> and one more right here, okay, let me see, yep, that looks pretty, oh, well, maybe one little, one little bit there, okay, let me clean my stamp off. And now we're going to go ahead and stamp the sentiments and things since I have the stamp open. Um, and so I have this strip here, which we'll use for both of them. Um, first, I'm going to stamp just dear friend like we have here. Let me get, well, I'm going to leave that there because we're going to need it again. So this is a script that's out of the same stamp set. And I have to be careful because one time, the first time I pushed too hard and I got a little bit up here on the top and it made a line. So I had to redo it. And there we have the dear friend. So let me clean that off. And then I have um, one of the best things in life is you. And I'm going to go down a little further, maybe towards the bottom on this and stamp this and i'm stamping this in full strength yeah now see i got a little mark so i might have to go in the middle let me find my little sponge maybe i see it was in here i got too much ink i pushed too hard okay let's try that again the 
shame too because I had it fairly straight. So just tap, tap, tap. That's much better. Okay, so that is most of our stamping. Now I'm going to leave my ink open because we are going to cut. I'm going to just cut this strip and then this one. And I'm going to have to cut that down just a little more. So let me get this one cut first. Let me see how big I need it to be. About two inches. Yes. Maybe two and a quarter. And there's the inside one, but we're not quite done with that one yet. Um, and I have to cut this down just a little more. So sorry I'm off frame, but I can't cut on frame right. All right. Okay, so on this one, we're going to do the same because on the inside, what I did is I um, this was a little bit bigger piece, but I did stamp the background on that too. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to get out my corner rounding and I'm going to stamp off twice on this to put it in the middle, and then twice again. I just want a faint background of the doily that was actually too dark so maybe I'll just keep going with that there we go and I think one more right here just a little bit where I missed okay yep okay so that is that now um I can close my ink up oh no I can't now what I'm going to do is real quick, I have the, somewhere, do I have it out, the Detail Trio Punch, which is also in the current catalog and I don't know if it's carrying over, um, but it has a corner rounder. I'm not going to do the fancy punch part. Just do the corner and sometimes I stand up to do this sometimes it's a little hard for me it seems to be doing okay okay and now the last thing we're gonna do with the ink is go around these edges as well so I have a little cat hair or something on there Oof. I don't know how to get that off. I'm going to get ink on my finger. There we go. <laughs> yep, I have ink on my finger. I'll get a, a wipe out in a minute. Okay, so now we're just going around the edges of this as well. I see I got a kind of blob there. Well, it's going to look vintage, right? Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, all right, let me get a wipe and wipe my fingers off after I close this. And then we'll start assembling. It's a pretty easy card. Just have to get that ink off my fingers or it will be all over. Um, actually, let's um, get rid of this. Now, I'm going to flag this, and it looks crooked to me. Of course it does. I'm going to try and make it straighter, but that's not always a good or uh, easy for me to do because I can't cut a straight line. <laughs> and now it's crookeder. So let me try and bring my trimmer in, try and straighten it out. And by the way, guys, the trimmer is no longer going to be offered. Um, the replacement blades for the cutting is still available, but the um, scoring blades are already sold out, and they're not coming back. And the replacement mat, I think, is also sold out and not coming back. So, yeah, and the reason is because there's been a problem with these blades, and I have noticed that with mine as well. 
in that um, they um, they don't stay sharp long enough and then they tear your paper actually so uh, if you don't replace them right away they work fine when you first put them in but um, so Stampin' Up! tries to sell quality products and they have had trouble they've been trying to work with the manufacturer but they can't seem to get it right so they're dropping them and uh, holding out till they get um, a quality product to bring us so that is um, I think highly of Stampin' Up! for doing that and not just rushing in to get something else anyway yeah so now this one I have a little longer here but I'm going to leave it like that for a minute and see how it works okay so now um, what I did is I used the layering ovals dies um they're probably going away guys because uh, that's another story which i'll save for a different video but i used this largest one and this one here sort of the scallop edge okay and what i did is i glued down the floral piece onto a regular piece of very vanilla but actually i um also distressed this both of these because Especially this one because um, you don't want it to look just stark stark on the vintage lace looking doilies in the background and, um, and I'm kind of brushing about a quarter inch in and then heavier on the edge because I just I might even go in further once I lay the other piece down and the other piece is like white there so I'm just going to go around the edges real quick on that there's enough ink left on this sponge that I can darken them just a little bit they don't need to be done too much just the, just the scallops a little bit so that they aren't too white okay I think that's good okay and now we're going to glue this down onto the other oval and I'm using a wet glue which is not a Stampin' Up! product. It is an art glitter glue, but they do carry a wet glue. I just wanted the fine glue this morning. There we go. Nope, that's a little crooked. Okay, you have a you have a little bit of wiggle room to move things with this glue, but not a lot. I had too much on this side. Now I probably went the other way. <laughs> Oh goodness me. It's funny how when you're doing it off camera you can get it, but then I turn it over and rub it. Now before I pop that on, I also put some lace down and I pre-cut two pieces. Here's one of them. Let's figure out where the other one went. <laughs> oh, really? Seriously? Unbelievable. Or is that both pieces? Well, we're going to need glue dots, so we'll bring them over. And I'm trying to find my other piece of lace that I cut. <laughs> oh my goodness. There it is. There it is. So all I did is I cut this uh, lace. is Stampin' Up! as well. Um, it's this beautiful, what is it called? I think it's just called lace trim it's half inch wide and it's in very vanilla very very pretty I don't know if you can there very pretty lace trim and I just cut it to be the width now it has like a scallop side and on the top I'm making that go down and on the bottom I'm making that go up and I am going to attach that with glue dots because um, I think that it will adhere fine. I could use the glue I just used, but glue dots seem to hold fabric to the paper better. So I'm going to put one right about here. And one, and I didn't take that paper off of it yet. 
um, just trying to see my placement. One about here. And one over on the other side. And I'm trying to put them so they're hidden behind like the thicker part of the lace trim. I may end up putting a little bit of um, glue down along the edge as well. And let's just peel them off and see how that goes. And I want it to be along the edge, and I think I'm going to have a little, oops, a little bit hanging over here. And I think, there, yeah. It's funny, when I measured it first, it seemed like it fit fine, but it's a little bit overhanging, so I'm going to trim that off carefully so I don't cut my card. These are not my best ribbon trimming scissors. And then we'll do the top. I think I might just put a little tiny bit of glue along the edge here underneath this part. Thin line if I can get it to come out. There we go. Okay. And now we'll do the top. So I'm going to flip this around so I can work it better. And remember I want the scallopy edges sort of towards the um, in towards the card like. that about here. So this is an easy card. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not a fancy fold or anything. It doesn't take an extreme amount of time. I mean, you can use whatever stamps you have, you know, and make your own backgrounds. And um, I like this one because it is vintage looking and I do like the way that looks. I don't do that very often. Um, all right, let's put this one on. I'm going to have to cut it. I'll cut it from the other side. Oops, just bling the paper over. I could have put it so that the lace hung off the edge of the card, but I didn't. Because then it won't fit in the envelope right, right? Okay, so now we're going to bump this up on dimensionals. And I used five. Mm, out of fingers. <laughs> out of fingers. There we go. One on each finger and my thumb. So we put one here, and one here, and one here, and one here, and one in the middle. <laughs> and then. We'll try and get them off, maybe. There we go. My thumbnail had been really long and it cracked way down below the skin and it, oh, I'm so, so mad because that's what happens to me though. I cannot keep my nails nice. Doing dishes and yard work and all that. And I'm, sometimes I wear gloves when I do stuff, but I don't wear them to do dishes and things. And I guess I should, but. I just, I don't know. Let's see, that way, this way, I think this way. And we'll just center it as best we can. I think that's pretty good. And now, um, I'll leave that open. Now we have this, and I think, I think that'll be all right. And what I did is the tail here sticks out over but the rest is will be on the oval, so I'll glue that part and I'll um, just use a dimensional on the part that to make it even with the oval. Okay, so we're just going to do this, and then the next thing is let me get these out of here. Um, I took my basic white pearls and I used my dark 
um, crumb cake stamp and blend which is an alcohol marker and I think on this one oh, let me now let me close my glue for temporarily um, on this one I use little ones so we'll do the same I have a lot more little than I do of a large and I don't know even if these will carry over guys so hopefully they will but who knows okay um now we'll use our tool and they do dry pretty quickly because it's alcohol oops it's alcohol ink and i had put two on the other one but because i have a little more room actually maybe i'm going to make a third one on this because i cut this a little thicker i'll do three let me get another one colored up here i usually like to do uneven numbers And I think I'm going to give that one just a tad more of that. Okay. And then we'll go like this. Hopefully scoop it. And down. And cook it. <laughs> okay. So now we just have to finish the inside and we'll be done. Pretty easy card. And all I did, um, well, you, you saw we did it. Um, so we're just going to glue that down and then we'll be done our card. It's really pretty easy and a beautiful card. Vintage style using new current day product. <laughs> and let me just make sure I get it sort of straight. There we go. Okay. So there we have it, and I hope you enjoyed the cards to the card today. Um, vintage style card using modern day Stampin' Up product, and um, I will try to. I'll put a link to my blog for sure, and by the end of today, I will have um, this posted on my blog with all the products that I used from Stampin' Up, and they'll have links directly to my store. If you're in the U.S. and you're interested in buying any of them, please, I'd like if you could shop with me. It would help me a lot, and I do give rewards to my customers. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and be sure to check out all the other participants. Hugs, love, and peace.